Hi friends. Um, sorry, I'm literally brushing out the door, um, but I thought I'd take you guys with me. So I'm going to get my hair done, having a hair appointment today. Um, of course, I'm gonna be late. Oops, of course, of course I'm gonna be late because that's just me. I'm literally late to everything. I'm trying to be better. Okay, I'll be like five minutes early, but knowing by the time I get in the car, I'll be a little late. Yeah, so I, I'm just rushing out the door. Thought I'd take you guys with me to my appointment. I've been going to this hairdresser for years. She is amazing and one of my good friends too. So super excited to go see her. Um, so yeah, I'm literally driving there in a second. Oh my God, it is so hot today. So our car ride karaoke playlist is Doja Cat. Her new album, Planet Her, is literally amazing. So I'm gonna be vibing to that as I drive. It's about a 20 minute drive, so listen to a couple songs. Let's go get this hair did. Okay guys, I'm at my hair appointment. I will see you in a sec. Bye. I did it. So I got a little bit more off than I usually get off, but it's super cute. It's really dark. I like my hair pretty dark lately. It has like this reddish tint. Um, that's like my natural hair kind of coming through, like a little bit of red. I have like this red undertone lately. Sorry if it's super bright. It's not adjusting right. But yeah, I love it so much. It's super cute. Got my little curtain bangs. A little bit of hair, hair color here. That's all right, it'll come off. Love my hairdresser, she's the freaking best. Had such a good time. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys at home. Okay guys, so I am back home now. Um, we were gonna make dinner, um, and I was gonna like walk you through guys cooking with me, but then we realized we had a gift card to a taco place. So we're actually gonna do that instead, which is awesome because tacos are life. Um, but I don't know, this place has like a bunch of different sort of like food items, it's not just tacos. Ooh, the lighting here is really bad. He's a big baby. Who's a teddy bear boy? He is a year and a couple months old. He's literally insane as you can see right here. He knows things though, he listens. Go to your bed. <laughs> Lay down, down, lay down, good boy. He does listen, he's just a little stubborn. But he's a very good boy. As you can see, he just wants to play. Where's your toy? Get your toy. Get your toy. Where's your toy, Theo? Get your toy, go get it. He's starstruck, he can't believe. <laughs> what the heck? Go get your toy. Ready? Drop, drop it. Drop. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. You have to like hold his collar to get him to drop it or he won't drop it. Drop, yes, ready? Look how ready he is for this, guys. Come. Ooh. Come. <gasps> He's really good at fetch. He always brings it back. <laughs> Good boy. That's a good baby. Good boy. Okay, guys. O-O-T-N outfit of the night. Um, just some little sweat legging things from Pink. And this black top from Shein. So, like I said before, we're going to go get some tacos or something from this taco place. So, see you there. Okay, guys. We're back from our taco run. Um, Dwayne got a chicken taco with the works and some sort of flavoring and I got jalapeno poppers and an Italian hoagie with banana peppers like lettuce tomato I like to get mayo on there there's a lot of bologna and stuff on there it looks really good yes I did get a hoagie for my taco place but I was really craving like a sandwich so <laughs> yeah we're super excited to eat um, we're probably just gonna catch up with you guys in the morning so good night see you then Hi friends, so it is the next day. Um, it's a little bit later in the day. I anticipated vlogging earlier, but um, you know, time got away from me. I had a really busy day. Today, well, now it's kind of over. I just came back from a walk, so that's kind of like why I look like this, and my hair is all crazy. I feel like the day I get my hair done, I'm like, ooh, I gotta go somewhere and do something and put an outfit on because my hair looks like super cute. And then the next day, I'm like, scrunchy. So, 
yeah i'm like in the hair it's shorter than i usually get it she took two inches off um which is still pretty long for me my hair doesn't grow super long um it doesn't stay very healthy when it's long so this is nice um got the little curtain bangs which i've been trying to work for a while they're longer um than like some curtain bangs but i like it hi theo <laughs> he likes the camera let's take you guys with me cooking Real quick guys, here's the baby boy. He's tired, we just went to play. You tired, big boy? <laughs> Sit. Give paw. Oh wow, oh, oh my god, okay. Give this paw. Yay, you give this paw. Oh, okay. Bang. Good boy, you want a treat? You want a treat? Yeah, we taught him some pretty useless tricks, especially bang. Um, which is play dead. So let's give him a treat for being a good boy. Look at this guys, he knows where his bed is. Go to your bed. <laughs> and we can actually um, tell him to go to his bed or his crate and he'll literally understand which one to go to. He's so smart guys. If any of you have a golden doodle, but they are like so smart. They're naughty, but they're very, very smart. Okay guys, so for dinner tonight, I think we're gonna have fish, but maybe some potatoes and onions and um, broccoli. Cause I have this broccoli in the fridge from Aldi that's been in there a questionable amount of time. I think we need to cook that today. I'm gonna smell it first because obviously I don't wanna eat anything rotten. My little cooking tip of the day, don't eat spoiled food. Just my little recommendation for you. Let's have some dinner. What do I want to eat? Mm. Flounder, first ingredient. You just get these frozen. I'm a massive Aldi fan. You're gonna hear me Probably talk about Aldi forever. To think of it as like a Trader Joe's. They have their own brand. I think it was like $6 for a big bag of flounder and it was frozen and I just take them out of the freezer, put them in the fridge, let them defrost and then they're ready. Got our broccoli. Cheese. I'm gonna throw some spinach too. I love steamed spinach. Yeah, we're kind of running out of things. Tomorrow we're going to Philly for something to do with my job. So we're gonna stop at Trader Joe's on the way back because in my area there's not one like super close. It's like 40 miles away, which is really heartbreaking. <laughs> Dwayne's never been, so I'm really excited to fangirl there. So I'm gonna get a ton of snacks and maybe just like a little grocery haul so I can show you guys that tomorrow. Potatoes and onions, that's right. Seasonings. I get excited to go to the store and look through the seasonings aisle because I love making my food super seasoned. I do not like bland food. If I go anywhere, I'm like seasoning queen. I'll eat chicken and stuff, but it has to be like super seasoned. Like I do not like plain things. Obsessed with spicy food too. I think while I cook, I'm gonna snack on these soy nuts. I have like a severe nut allergy, like severe, <laughs> like it's bad. I like don't get to eat any nuts. So um, I've tried to trick myself pretending I can be like everybody else and soy nuts I can have because they're not technically a nut. So yeah, you know, when I eat them, I'm like, oh, I'm so cool. I got these from Wegmans and I don't know. People who enjoy nuts are probably like, it tastes nothing like a nut, but listen to me, it's a nut. You stay out of the trash, please. We have our little mixture heating up here. And then once it's pretty warm, I have it on a medium right now, like actually like below medium. Um, we're gonna season our fish now and then put it right in. I just continuously spoon the mixture, keeps it nice and buttery and seasoned. Okay friends, so now we have our fish in the pan. I just added some sea salt, some pepper, onion powder, basil, dill, garlic powder, and tagine, which I don't really know what that is, but it's really good. Um, sounds like a lot, but I don't put a ton on it. So what you're gonna do, I have one hand right now. You're just going to actually hold the pan and then you just continuously like spoon it on. I am absolutely no expert, but I don't know. I think it tastes good. And when I watch Hell's Kitchen with Gordon Ramsay, um, that's what he does. I'm trying to be just like Gordon Ramsay, Haley Ramsay. That's me. While that's doing its thing, we are gonna chop up the potatoes and onion and put that in the air fryer. And once you see these in a second, they will all be chopped. Okay, our potatoes are chopped. Let's those in there. I have the Instant Pot air fryer, so it's an Instant Pot, but it uh, doubles as an air fryer too. Let's go back to our fish. I'm gonna flip them over, see what's happening. Oh, crap. 
Oh, that's pretty on the bottom though. I hate when like the oil in it like spits at you. I literally am such a baby and I scream. We're having flaked um, fish. It's not gonna be whole. That is okay. I think I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. Toby forgot to show you, but I um, seasoned my potatoes. I honestly just wing it. So 400 degrees, I'll do 10 minutes and then I'll check it. I'm definitely gonna do broccoli in there after. I like my broccoli air fried. I don't really like it steamed. My fish is definitely done. So let's, let's take her off the heat. Don't forget to turn your burners off, people. This is my first time vlogging cooking. I'm not a great multitasker. So this is a big adventure for me. Usually when I'm like cooking, I'll watch TV because our TV is literally right there on the wall. Or I will watch YouTube on my iPad. Life of an adult. I like to cook. I'm the cook around here. I don't care because I like it. Now we're gonna prep the broccoli for air frying. I'm gonna rip off the stalks here, just rip them all off. And then I'm just gonna season them with olive oil, salt, pepper, maybe some chili flakes. So we have about 10 minutes on the potatoes. Fish is done, but very flaked. So I'm just prepping my broccoli now. I'm just kind of like ripping it off. I know you can like cut it with a knife, but I'm too lazy for that. I'm trying to be more healthy lately. I don't know, you have to have a balance in life. And if you diet and eat well all the time, you're gonna pig out on days where you're not dieting or if you have like a cheat day, it's like, you kind of like pig out rather than have a balance of like healthy food and things that you still want but in moderation i'm no expert like believe me most of my life i was very active like in uh, high school i ran cross country um competitively and i did it in college too so my entire life was like all i did was run exercise lift weights and then eat and back then like i could eat whatever the hell i wanted because i was like super athletic and like you know your metabolism's amazing when you're in high school so i never really had to think about like um, eating properly um, so as I've like gotten older it's hard to transition like from eating like that to now it's like I'm not working out like that anymore so it's like it catches up to you you know um, and everybody has their own struggles with you know eating and like health and fitness I'm really trying to get back into it my issue is like like eating late at night I love bread and um, I do love cheese that's not a carb but those are like my issues where I like find myself like craving it um, and then I need to get more into like, I don't know, like running or walking more. I'm thinking of getting like an exercise bike or something just to do something a little bit different. Health and fitness is super important to me. It's just hard to find a balance. And I find that like throughout the year, I have periods of time where I exercise like a lot, like every day and I'll eat really well and I feel really great. And then I like fall off and I do nothing. So it's like, I'm an all or nothing person. I need to find that moderation. Cause like I just said before, it's so important to have balance. I'm sure that's a struggle for a lot of women or men to have that motivation to really, you know, work out and feel healthy overall in life. Our potatoes are almost done. My hair looks nuts, sorry guys. The fish is getting cold. So I'll probably just zap that in the microwave for a second. Um, listen, this is real life. Got the microwave for a reason. Oh, you know what? I do want to heat up a little bit of spinach. Probably just get another pan, saute some spinach with butter and salt. That'll be it for dinner. I'm excited. I love to eat. It's my literal favorite thing to do. Our broccoli is prepped. Yeah, this looks good. Another little hack. Um, I know a lot of people probably do this, but I like to put Parmesan cheese on my broccoli. Um, I do it right before I put it in and start to air fry it, and then I do it like in the middle. So here are our potatoes with our onions. They're all done, nice and sauteed. Our spinach doing its thing. Okay, we're gonna air fry, 400 degrees. I'm gonna do 12 minutes and then we'll take a look. I've been eating since breakfast. Went out to breakfast today with a family friend. Um, I had Eggs Benedict. That's like my literal favorite thing to get when I go out to eat. Okay, here's the finished product. This is Dwayne's plate because I already put mine on the coffee table. Um, we like to watch TV while we eat. Um, that's just what we like to do. So here's our spinach, our potatoes, our fish, which is cut up into tiny pieces. Yep. Um, fresh tomato and then broccoli. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed cooking with me. So we're gonna go enjoy this and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, so we just got back from our walk. We had some ice cream and we got to see some live music. So that was fun. Um, yeah, so we're honestly just gonna kind of hang around tonight. So I'm probably gonna end the vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you would like to see more content like this, please like, comment, subscribe, put your notification bell on. I had fun hanging out with you guys. I hope you had fun with me too. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.